What's up everybody? We're back in the kitchen again because I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I hope you're hungry because we're fixing to cook again. So what I'm making today, I don't really have a name for it. It's just something I tried years ago and I liked it. So I'm going to share it with y'all. Hopefully y'all like it. Um, this is something that would normally go with some other, uh, some other meal, but I'm just going ahead and prepare it now. Um, Basically, it's little smoky sausages inside cornbread. So I'm going to switch things over, show y'all what we need and how I do it. And uh, we'll get started. So, okay, so we're going to start with two packs of Jiffy cornbread mix. This is my favorite. It's what I was raised on, so uh, I'm kind of fond of it. You may have a different brand you like. Whatever your brand is, that's uh, what you use. What you're comfortable with should be this, roughly the same. Ingredients may differ, but it take, for me it takes two. So that's why I'm doing two, and I'll explain why later on. Um, so the rest of the ingredients, other than the smokies, because these are what we're going to put inside the cornbread. Um, whatever, again, whatever flavor you like, whatever your taste is, that's what you use. So the rest of the ingredients are for the cornbread, uh, the cornbread mix. So since we're using two, we doubled them for this. The the mix was uh, the recipe was one egg, one third cup of milk, and then the cornbread mix. But since we're making two, I got two eggs, two thirds cup of milk uh, to mix it together. So um, also I like to use this square muffin pan which I've already used uh, sprayed with Pam and I've already set the turn on the stove to preheat to 400 degrees the temp baking temperature and the ingredients depending on what uh, cornbread mix you like is what is, uh, which is it's going to change it may change so just be aware of that um, if you use Jiffy this is what the recipe says. So uh, give me one second. We're going to get started getting this mixed together. It says to mix until a batter forms. So, and to make it kind of lumpy. Hopefully I won't say anything stupid. But then I'm gonna go ahead and start filling up the, the pan. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of try to fill it up halfway full first. And that's kind of where the second box of uh, cornbread mix comes in. So hopefully, it'll go well. We're gonna figure this out. So like I said, there's no real, I never really found a recipe for this. It's just something I tried. Turned out, tried, tried making little bitty uh, corn dogs with the Smokies. That didn't turn out too well. So I think it's going to be a little on the thick side. So it's 
to do is you want to go in here, just kind of start putting them in there. I know I like doing two. You can do one, but I'd stick with about two. So push those in there. And that's why I say you don't have to put a whole lot in here to start with. You're going to come back in and cover them up. But it's been a while since I've done it, so I put a little bit more than usual. But that's me. There we go. with some more cornbread mix. Hopefully I got enough. I might have made it too thick. So gonna do what we do. I'm gonna try to salvage it though. If it sal if I salvage it then it come and it comes out. Good thing I had an extra spoon here. Uh, I'll still upload this. But anyway, that'll make a success out of potential failure. Right, anyway, that's probably gonna that's gonna blow up. We'll look, we'll, you'll know that when you see it. it comes out. So let's see. Push them down. Push them down. So, I'm going to take and pop these in the oven for, how I many, 15 to 20 minutes. I like to go on the early side, so closer to 15 minutes. So, let's see how things go. Alright, so let's see what happens. Ooh, that's hot. Timer on. Start with 15 minutes. Start. And we'll come back and see what we're looking at. All right. All right. So let's see what we got here. I'll turn this off. Ooh. Ah, where am I starting my face? All right. So, yeah, we got some picking out, some not. Not too bad. So, let's go turn this off. Let that cool. All right, so yeah, so most of them covered up. You got some that didn't. Luckily, the one they'll with it being four hundred degrees, they'll cook inside the cornbread. That guy. Talk about that guy. Whew, that sucker just kind of swelled up, didn't it? Anyway, I'm gonna let these cool out for a bit, and we'll come back and try them out. See how it did. I'm pretty confident in my ability, so I know they tasted pretty good, but I'll find out if the cornbread is dry, because it might be dry. Might have needed to put a little bit more water, not water, milk, so. All right, so they didn't turn out as bad as I thought they would. They turned out better than I thought they would. Uh, you got a couple that poked out that didn't cover up, but for the most part, they covered up. Um... This guy, I put too much. I knew it was gonna swell, so that looks like a <laughs> that looks like a muffin right there. That's a beast of a muffin. Um, so I'm gonna let these cool, and once they cool down, I'll come back and we'll see how they turned out. See if it turned out dry or or what. Probably should have put a little bit more milk in there, but uh, had to play around with it a little bit more next time. So we'll be back. Okay, so I let them cool down and I started pulling them out. Unfortunately, some of them did start falling apart. But guess what? I couldn't help it. I started digging into the crumbs and everything. They're delicious. They are very good. Um, this guy here kind of surprised me. I tried to pull them off and the top just came off. So 
That's why that's still there. I'll dig that out and eat it later. But you can see pretty much what you did, what you're working with. But the sausage gives it a good flavor, and it's just a contrast in flavors that tastes really good to me. Um, but I hope you try it. I hope you like it. Um, as always, God bless. Stay safe. Do great things.